Titans hosted a backfield emotion party last night. How was it? The community holiday party? Oh, that's what we caught. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, you know, I appreciate the players, uh, the men that they are. They went up and uh, it was great to see our, our community relations department did an unbelievable job. Everything was decorated. Um, some amazing gifts. Our players uh, raised a lot of money uh, for some really, really cool presents. And I think everybody had a great time. What's Jack Gibbons shown you that uh, earned him the call up to the 53? Well, I think he played multiple positions. You know, he's learned both spots inside. And I think the biggest thing is he was, you know, did, did a, a good to decent job on, on special teams, you know. And so that's, um, you know, you have to make sure you got guys that can play on special teams. And, you know, we're still looking for a lot of those guys. I know you said you were looking for an uptick from <clears throat> Monty last week. Did you see some of that? Uh, I thought, yeah, there, I think that the, uh, you know, there were certainly some really good speed plays uh, where he kind of just triggered and went. He was active, and um, you know, I think hopefully that's uh, you know, just taking some big steps. You know, I think unfortunately he's kind of had some setbacks just since he's been here, and it seemed like every time things were going good and he was improving, you know, the injury and you know whatever it was, and so he's. That's no fault of his. It's just working back from that. You know, missed training camp, missed OTAs, and you know you can sit in a meeting for so long. <clears throat> but I think as a young linebacker, especially, you, know, you have to be out there. You have to start to see the bodies and the movement and understand, and just where it's instinctual. And I thought he did a nice job uh, making some of those plays last week. With Robert Woods being your, your nominee for the Ed Block Courage Award yep. winner, uh, what are your thoughts on on him uh, and, and how he's been able to you know get in that position? Yeah, I just think that there's a lot of respect uh, from the professional uh, that he is, his toughness. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's you know it's been a transition, I think, for for Robert and, and where he is in his career and switching teams to a team that you know probably relied um, you know a lot heavier on on the pass. Came here, hasn't um, complained once. He's gone in and. And blocked. He's never asked for a day off. You know, I mean, we had a plan when he was coming back from training camp and when he would go and tracked his mileage. Um, I thought he helped Caleb through that uh, process yeah, in the off season. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of things. I'm, I didn't count the votes. Uh, Todd did that. I'm sure it was a, it was a landslide. Um, you, you know, and I just think that that's, that's a really cool award, um, and that's something that I think he embodied just throughout the season. Carter mentioned yesterday, I think, that, that Dylan had been taking some snaps beyond just the, the guard spot. How has he done in, in that regard? And is there you know, any chance he might factor in the mix? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, we'll keep working with Dylan. I um, did some good stuff when he's been able to go in there. He's played a couple of different positions for us. Um, you know, tried to, you know, expand, you know, where he's at. So we'll see kind of where things lead on Sunday and, and you know, pretty good chance he'll probably play multiple positions. Mike, with, with Danico kind of getting, trying to get back in the mix, how have you maybe seen him progress? Over Danico's out. Okay. So, save my breath. Some other guys, uh, the, the guys that you opened the windows for uh, this week in terms of coming back from IR, how did they fare during the week? And um, yeah, man, it was good to see him out there. See how they respond here today and kind of make a decision tomorrow. Zach did some stuff and, and so did Lonnie. Right, is that who we had? Yeah. yeah. And I guess Trey uh, out of the concussion. I'm sorry, you already said that, but did uh, nope. Trey Avery? Trey Avery will be out. Burks will be out. Out, out, not out of protocol. Any other good news I can report? How about, how about uh, a, another week for no Ricey chance. in practice? Uh, do, you, do you see him maybe getting into the flow a little bit more? Well, yeah. I mean, I think the the thing that stood out is the work that he put in uh, while he was out mentally. Um, you know, that's hard to stay engaged when there's not a clear sight of return. I mentioned that last week. I thought him and Josh worked very hard to get back in the time that they did. You know, talked to a lot of people, and you know, there wasn't an much optimism for Racy to to be back, you know, really before the first of the year. So give him a lot of credit for working hard and wanting to do it, working through the soreness, 
being diligent in his rehab and then also staying engaged mentally so that when he came back, it wasn't like he was starting over from scratch. And uh, Danico, what you, been, what you thought of his progress? Danico's out. That's what I just told Ben. Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah. It's, hard, it's hard to listen. Yep. It's, it's hard, it's hard to listen and type. I know. <laughs> Anybody else out besides those three? Hooker, Board, Fulton, Hilliard. Should be seven, right? With uh, Audrey Parks, Fulton, Hooker, Hilliard, Board, Avery. Yep. 